Bell. Typical problem with branch, things just don't fit his arms. Mm. Gotta stretch it over the muscle there. But uh, branch doesn't train traps and he doesn't train calves. At all. At all. I've, I've, never, I've never been with him once when we've done either of those exercises. He's, he's already got such enormous development in both of those areas that he gets enough just from doing shoulders, you know, as far as the traps are concerned. When we do upright rows, obviously it gets the traps a little bit. Right. And then with the way that we do legs, uh, you know. Stimulates his calves. Absolutely. So if, if he were to focus on actually, you know, building exercises, it would throw his symmetry and it would, it would, it would throw things off his balance. Now you guys are getting ready for dips, and uh, yeah, this is this chains. is the, yeah, this has become like our <laughs> trademark exercise right here. Um, you know, ever since the video came out, uh, Branches DVD, and uh, you know they saw it on the cover, and and they saw this. This has been you know, all of a sudden kind of a trademark exercise. Uh, when they were doing the commentary at the Arnold, you know, they were talking about you know the intensity that Branch trains at, and and. Uh, that almost kind of psycho approach to it, mm -hmm. and you know, they, the first thing he said is, you know, this is the guy that, that does dips with chains around his neck, and um, you know, to me, it's just uh, it's normal. We call this anger management. <laughs> this is your therapy. This is therapy right here. Anger management. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot to be stressed about when you're done here. <laughs> you're pretty much exhausted. And one of the benefits behind having the chain, this isn't so that uh, you can feel hardcore, this isn't so you can, you know, think that you're doing something so cool or so powerful. Having that heavy weight around your neck actually pulls your body into a more parallel position with the bar, allowing you to isolate your chest. A lot of times when people put belts around their waist mm -hmm. and they hang you know, dumbbells and plates, that pulls you more vertical. So you're actually working more arms. You're, you're, you know, you're doing a tricep workout. Right. And here we're utilizing the chains to work on our chest. So we, we, do, um, we do dips with a different you know, plate loaded machine when we do arms. But here what we wanna do is, is really take advantage of using this uh, exercise, which is fantastic for building up your chest. But you need to have something pulling you forward so you can actually isolate it. So again, it all comes to the angle and where you're placing that the Absolutely. weight. Sure does. I was just amazed that after everything that we've done and exhausted as I was already feeling that Branch pulled out all three chains. I thought we were going to get away with just one, but <laughs> nope. <laughs> away he goes. And those are not exactly light chains, so when you compare, you know, his body weight Add it, on to, uh, add it on to the chains and then the isolation to the chest area. We're talking about a whole lot of weight right there. What do you think approximately that, that adding on weight-wise? Do you have any idea? Well, we were asking Brian about that mm -hmm. and um, he said the chains that we're using go in between 60 to 80 pounds. Each. You're right, correct. So on the conservative side, he's adding 180 pounds to his already 250 pound, 255 pounds that he's weighing right now. So, uh, yeah, Branch is moving a little bit of weight there. This is actually one of the exercises that, uh, that Branch and also the, the doctor who did my shoulder surgery told me to try and avoid. <laughs> but um, it just, it, it really doesn't hurt. Um, you know, if it caused me any, any pain or discomfort, I certainly wouldn't do it. But, uh, you know, it's still working. It hasn't, uh, hasn't held me back, so I'm gonna keep, uh, keep going until something tells me not to. You're keeping it in a range of motion that's, that's not bothering you? Correct. The surprising thing for me is, you know, that when I actually do have, um, you know, the shoulder fatigue early or if it fails on me, 
it, it comes out of nowhere and it you know I'm happy that there's no pain associated with it but it, it will surprise me because you know you'll be going along everything's fine you think everything's working perfectly and then boom it just stops that little movement mm -hmm. Like I said, as long as you've checked your ego at the door and you don't, uh, you don't let it you know, get to your head, and it's really not a problem. You just work around it. Oh, really, if you don't work around it, you won't be in the next day, right? Exactly. Exactly. You push too hard, you're going to pull something, you're going to twist something. Um, and what usually happens is you start using those supporting muscles too much. And then that's when people start talking about you know, pulling their, their rear delts or getting some back injury, uh, especially lower back injuries. Uh, when you're trying to push or pull something and it's just not working, your body's gonna adapt by any means necessary and you're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself. All right. I guess it's good that we're doing a voiceover because sometimes uh, you'd have to you have to censor the <laughs> couple bleeps. Yeah, there'd be there'd be lots of bleeps. <laughs> you guys try to get the most out of it in muscle groups. That's true. Um, there are very very few times that I've ever left a workout with Branch where I didn't feel like I was fully exhausted and didn't give a hundred percent of everything that I had. You, you do so many sets, so many exercises, so many reps that um, if you finish, you're you're exhausted. And uh, quitting is not something that I am privy to. It's not something that Branch is privy to. And you know, we all feel the the struggle within, so to speak. There's times where you're you're hurting. You know, you feel like you can't push, and then you know Branch will come up and smack you in the back of the head, or he'll yell at you, or you know, me at him, and all of a sudden, you know, you get that, that burst of adrenaline, you you get a couple extra reps, or, you know, you think you're going to quit. Like right here, you know, when we hit hands like that, mm -hmm. that usually means the workout's over. So, you know, I was heading towards the door, and he goes, hey, screw that, let's go do some shoulders. And I said, okay, <laughs> off we go.